Hey girls, it's Tuesday. I almost said Sunday. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's not Sunday, it's Tuesday. Yeah. I'm smart. Woo. Yeah. So, um, I got up at like 6 a.m. today. Maybe that's why I almost said Sunday. But I got up because I started doing a vlog a goal every day thing. A project that was created by JB Dazen who is an awesome vlogger. You guys should all check him out. Um, and yes, yeah, so I decided to try that out for a while on my personal channel. And I just started like literally today. And my goal was to get up at a decent hour, like before noon, because <laughs> that's what I've been doing lately. <laughs> yeah. So, Haley, I'm sorry about your dog. I'm pretty sure I said that on the name, but I'm still sorry, so I'll say it again. Sorry. Yeah. Amelia, you wanted book suggestions. Amelia, as in Monday, I'm not Saturday. Um, so, let's see what we got. The Kite Runner is a good one. One of my personal favorites, actually. Um... The Book Thief and The Hunger Games. Pretty much anything by James Patterson. I just finished one of his books called Sundays at Tiffany's. It's awesome. But pretty much anything by James Patterson. If you like Twilight, you should read the Night World series because they're very similar. There's three volumes of that one. I've only read two because I can't afford to buy the third one and my library is lame and doesn't have it. But the first two are good and I suspect the third one will be good, but I don't know. Um, what else we got? Uh, Edgar Allan Poe stuff, if you like reading poems or like short stories, you should read some Edgar Allan Poe. I have his Complete Tales and Poems book. It's pretty awesome. Although, if you look at the cover, and if you don't know me personally, you might think I'm emo. Just saying. You might also think I'm emo if you look at these books. But they're really good though. Um, it's an actual series. It starts with this one, Blue is for Nightmares. Then it goes to White is for Magic. And then Silver is for Secrets. And then it goes to Red is for Remembrance. But I don't have that one. I've read it, but I don't own it. But they're all good. And they're written at like a middle school level, so they're not hard. <laughs> um, but they're really good though. Um, you should also read The Catcher in the Rye, if you haven't already. It's an awesome book. You should also read The Great Gatsby, but I don't own that one, so I can't show you. I wish I owned it, though. Because I want to read it again, because the last time I read it was in school, and I liked it in school, but I'm pretty sure I'd like it even more if I read it outside of school. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, the challenge. I found me a die. I hit myself in the face with a die. Okay, I'm good now. Challenge is going to be to... Do something, oh crap, do something creative with, um, nature. Yeah, do something creative with nature. Anything, like flowers, plants, leaves, grass, sticks. You can use other things like paper and glue and scissors and stuff like that um, to create it. Just like, as long as you, like, have nature in it. Yeah, just be creative with that a challenge. Let's see who it's gonna be. One is gonna be Wednesday, obviously. Just yeah. Six. Amelia. Amelia as in Monday. Do something with stick. Well not necessarily six, but with nature. Yeah. I'm Tempted to just keep this die in my room for next Sunday. Or next. Why do I keep saying it's Sunday? Ugh, it's not Sunday. Anyways, um, for next Tuesday, but I took it out of a, Mono a Monopoly game, so then somebody's gonna probably wanna play Monopoly. And then they're gonna be like, where's the die? Then I'll just be like, oh, I have it. So maybe I'll just keep it here. I don't know, but anyways.
that's all I had to say today. So, Chelsea, I'll see you tomorrow. And I'll see you all next Tuesday. Hopefully somebody will challenge me by next Tuesday because I get bored in these videos. Now that it's really up to you. It's up to the die. Seriously, I'm going to go this time. Bye. <laughs>